Um, howdy everyone, this is Blake Aldridge, and um, we just had the Lone Star Challenge in Longview, Texas this past weekend, and I took my GoPro for one of the two flights, competition flights, so I thought I would kind of go over this as like a little analysis, kind of explaining my process to whoever's you know, interested, maybe new pilots who are wanting to learn a bit, or just, you know, just anyone who uh, wants to be entertained by me learning to fly competition. <laughs> but um, nevertheless, you know, this is just how I do it. And if you have any suggestions or just questions or anything, just ask in the comments, whether it's on like Facebook or YouTube. I don't know how this is going to get uploaded yet. But yeah, so this was Saturday morning. Uh, really good winds, lots of steering. I'll go into that in a little bit uh, um, later. But the flight before this Friday, there were four tasks, but uh, not very many people scored or did well. So today was the day to kind of make up for that and to, you know, put in some work. So it was, um, this was four tasks, three uh, different targets. The first one was just a normal fly-in at an old school that had been cleared out. So it was just kind of um, in between some trees and like a little park. Uh, second one was also a, a school surrounded by power lines. Uh, it's kind of the field in front of it. Uh, and that was just a fly-in, free marker drop. And then also there was a Gordon Bennett. It was a triangle surrounding that target. And then the last one was a Judge Declare goal, uh, also <laughs> at a school. And that, that was real wide open. That was a good target. Um, but we'll, we'll go into all this later. So the this is uh, what it looks like. Um, so we launched around let me see if I can get this and I don't know how long this video is going to be but we're just going to try it out and if it does well I might do more but um so we launched here uh, it's a nice big open field along the interstate uh, and the winds for the morning were very steerable uh, kind of typical for Longview um, so on the surface we had it out of the uh, the southeast and it was I'm just going to draw some arrows here. I don't, I don't know the exact numbers. I don't want to lie to you all, so I'm just going to use arrows. But it was about that on the surface. And as you got up, you got more and more right. So about three, 400 feet, something like that. And then if you got high enough, maybe 1,000 feet or so, uh, you got almost uh, east-northeast. So um, in my eyes, at the best point of the flight, you had about that much steering, what you could have done. Of course, they're different speeds, but you know that that's your range. That's how I like to look at it. So you would, um, but there were no really winds uh, directly on this line of the targets here, which if you just had to look at the targets, you'd think you'd need to launch somewhere over here, but that wasn't the case this morning. Um, but it was just such good steering. So let's look at the flight here. So I'm going to go through my whole uh, thought process here. And here we go. So turn on, I'm already inflated, I got all my stuff in there, and I've been settled. So I'm just, um, okay, um, here I'm just discussing with my crew, kind of, um, what their jobs are, because I have some crew I'm training, and it's really calm, dead calm on the surface here, so uh, I'm telling my crew to just leave me in the field here, and there's other people here in balloons, in case something, you know, really bad happens, I need help, but... That's, you know, that's not really the case. But I told him to go on ahead to the first target because I knew um, the location of it, but I didn't know what it looked like. So I had them go ahead to see what it um, kind of looks like and to tell me where other balloons are. Because I think there's five or six balloons ahead of me here. Uh, it's about half the pack. So I kind of tell me what's going on and what I what I can't see from the ground. I'm having the um, so... So everyone's just pulling up, reading. I'm looking up. I write on my arm to see what um, you know, what the tasks are and the what they are and baggy colors and stuff because I'm prone to messing up stuff like that. But so here, um, I'm kind of asking. So Dr. Bussy went ahead of me, and I'm on the radio with him and the the locals, and I'm asking him how he does, or you know where I need to be. And he kind of he does he can't tell me because he's not there yet. He told me he doesn't know. But then, so Richard Saban says on the radio that him and Guy 
uh, have good tracks to the target. So that's all I was really wanting to know, just kind of where I need to be. And I can see Dr. Bessie here, and I know they're ahead of him, but I can't see them. So I decided to take off here. So I put the radio down, and I decided to take off. Look around, make sure no one's around me. Make sure ready to get a nice calm on the surface. So, taken off. And you can see, already, there's a good amount of left on the surface. So our target we're looking for is over here, and I'm going this way on the surface. Um, and one thing to note, there was another group of balloons that launched, I'll just show y'all here, let's see. There's another group of balloons that launched out here. And what they did is they got the really high line and they basically went east over the target right here and then they they dropped down and did it so there's a lot of things you could have done there were i think three different groups launching i think there's a group here this group and then maybe a group over here i think someone launched right here as well so you could have launched anywhere you just had to be i think a meter or a, a kilometer and a half out from the target but anyway we're going you see this left on the surface and and at this point in the flight um I like to try and get a feel for what the winds are within the first probably three or four minutes, and that kind of just helps stay in my brain, you know, what, you know, where I need to be to go which direction. So I see here, you know, we have a left here on the surface. I get to see how strong it is. So I say, okay. Um, so I, I go up a bit more because I can tell it's way too far left. And Richard and Guy, who they said were at a good line, the, it's these two balloons here. So I'm going to be, and actually I'm going to be watching all these balloons here. It's always good to see who's ahead of you and what they're doing. Because uh, I can't see the target. The target's stuck here behind trees. So I, I'm relying on my crew telling me or seeing what these balloons are doing in my, my maps, of course. So still going left, but not as left as we're going up. And then as we get up about here, you can see it starts to curve off to the right. So yeah, so now you can see if I speed it up because it's a little slow. Um, I'm crossing the road, so that that's that's drastic because the surface is this way, and up high I was crossing the road. So, nevertheless, we're just flying, trying to keep a good um good line, just kind of make a spiral, just trying to get there. So he says he's getting up there to the target. Um, so they're they're about over here, and I know based on my maps that it's on this road right here. So the road kind of goes left, and it's it's somewhere on the right side of the road here. So I'm keeping, I'm watching my maps, checking my surroundings, making sure no one's around, you know. And these balloons are going down into the target here. So I see just going up and down, just trying to keep a good line. And this target, I didn't get to actually see it uh, or from the, from the GoPro, which I apologize. But I see I'm, I'm low here. So... I, I came down here to see if I can can make it from a low line and then I could drop down without any trouble on the target but I, I was getting too much left so I decided to burn a bit and go up and see if I can get a little bit of right and fix that uh, which I do so as you see we're going up getting rid of that left I just got and then venting and the targets right behind these trees over here really nice morning uh, for flying like this actually let's see here okay yeah so and this is and this is just how it is flying in long view because all these trees the target is right here I mean it's basically across the street and luckily I could see the leg of it right <laughs> right there you can hardly see it on this I don't know if y'all can see it but that's it right there um, so, I, but I, I kind of know where it is at this point. So, um, I, I burned because I got too much left again. So I burned to go up just a little bit and then get right above the trees. And then, you know, wait because I, I know there's no power lines here or, you know, I'm not going to be hitting them right here. So I wait, wait, you know, right here above the trees and then vent. Try and get as low as I can for a good throw. 
No, I can't. And this is my first, one well, of my first slides in this balloon, actually, in a very long time, so I, I'm trying to do anything too crazy at this point. I'm just trying to get there, get, you know, decently above the ground, so I'm coming down, uh, double burning s to stop on a dime. And actually, I'm going to hit the, my, one of my liquid fires just to make sure I really stop, but I, I really didn't even need it here, which I found out, you know. And so, I overburn. And what I should have done right here, because the targets, I still have probably 10, 15 seconds before I'm at the target, so first of all, I shouldn't have overburned. Uh, second of all, right here, I should have vented even more to come down. But you can see here that I'm indecisive about what I want to do, so I, do I want to just stay above it a little bit and throw? Or do I want to vent and, you know, come down and throw? So I, I can't really tell, but I'm, I'm venting a little bit just so I don't shoot back up. So, but I throw at the target right about here. It's not too bad, probably 30 feet above the ground. Um, decent score, I think it was 2.5 meters, 1.8 or 9, I can't remember, but not too bad. Um, but immediately, can't dwell on it now, I have to, because I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna miss it. If I, if I stay at this level and try and do something else, I'm going to miss the second target completely. So, going back to here for a second we're here and if I stay here because on the surface you can tell from the video I'm going this way so I need to I need to get back up real fast to get to the second target and here's actually a better look of what this first target looks like so we came in from right here it has the line of trees um, and the target was was about there it might be a few feet off but you know it doesn't have to be exactly there it just has to be in the field um, Actually, I'll, I'll show this real quick if I can get this. So this is the second target. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, we're going to be coming from this way, the southeast. And the thing about this target is it's 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 in a lower area. So all this and, and this is kind of a higher elevation. Uh, and this, this is real low. And there's also power lines here and here on the road. And plus you have all these tall trees. So this is a, this is a tricky target to get into. And this was a uh, the Gordon Bennett and the fly-in task. So the, there's like an X here, and then a triangle we had to kind of throw at. <laughs> Excuse my bad drawings. Um, anyway, here we go. So you can already see that I'm going up. My crew is trying to take up as much of the road as they can. Um, uh, but we're going up and go up to a pretty pretty decent level here. And you can see Rhett was a little bit behind me, but see there's the field, there's the target right there. And so... But, I mean, if you can see uh, from the little bit of go flying this target, we were heading this way. And now on, up here we're heading um, almost north instead of the uh, west-northwest. Anyway, just watching, just taking a good line. Um, and, you know, flying into this target, this is one of those, um, one of those things where we're at a decently high level and we have to try and... Uh, drop down with good amount of precision so we're heading we're heading about this way and the goal is to go that way and then drop when you need to and then take that line right to the target so um, you know we're up here and I am in it's only what three minutes between the targets so I'm venting and I have balloons around me now and I actually I came down probably 15 20 seconds too early, and that's going to result in me missing this target to the left here. Um, here we are. And this target, as we saw on the map, is on the other side of this road. So, a good a good amount. Probably 70, 80 feet. So, we're almost crossing it. And so, I come down too early, and I get way too much left. And I realize that I don't have enough time to go up as high as I need to to get that you know, east northeast wind. So I elect to kind of stay at like a middle line here and to try and get keep the north wind just so I can um, stay in the field at least and get a get a score because a score is better than uh, no score. And you see we're on the we're on the road here. So if we stay on the road, we're going to miss it. Red kind of did what I should have done, and he he came down a little bit later than me. So he's gonna he's gonna do good on this one. As you can see, all these power lines here. Um, 
So I'm, I'm gonna make sure to burn so I don't worry about. See, there's all those power lines, and they're pretty. They're pretty tall. So I'm, this is the Gorm Ben. I'm just winding up, scoring, and then here's the fly-in, and I do my signature hitting something with the baggie, and I just wind up and throw it. So, um, not great, but scored. And as you can see, uh, coming up, so this is a better view of it, so that's what it looked like, and see Rhett's doing what I should have done, and he, he's able to get real low and make a good throw. But we're, we came down over the road, and I was able to get enough right to kind of clip the field and throw, but not where it should have been. Now, um, our crew, my mom, who's screaming for Dr. Bessie, she's at the third target already, and I'm hearing what she's saying, so she's telling me where people are throwing and stuff, and I can kind of already look ahead and see where they are. So I'm looking around, making sure no one's around me. So, there's all these balloons ahead of me. Let's see if I can get a good good view. Hey, here we go. So, here, I know, and I've been to this target before, so I know that this, I don't know what this is, I don't know if it's a bank or something, but I know just on the other side of the trees is a school right here, and then there's a field right here where the target is. And I see, you know, um, Johnny and Steve Jones and all of them are, are going there, and they're kind of going down to the target. So I kind of get to, I learn what I did for my uh, second target, and I'm going to try and use that here to um, get a better score here. So just the just the usual trying to work it going up and down just to try and get the right wins. Um now you can let's see if we can see the target. Okay. So here we go. So at this point I need to have a plan in my mind of how I'm gonna do this, okay? So at this current moment in time, I mean I see the target, I know that there's still the low left is still there and the the right is still there, so my plan right now is to stay here, stay at this um, level, and to come down above these trees right here and kind of start losing the right and get a little more left and then get down above these cars right here and drop down and get a left and go right over the target. Now, that doesn't happen, but um, I kind of fix it in the middle. But here we go. So vent make sure I just don't go up any higher, start to make my approach down to these trees. And this is a fisheye lens. So uh, everything looks kind of a lot farther than it actually is, but this is pretty, pretty close. Um, we're pretty close to the target already. So I'm not gonna speed it up here because we'll just watch it. Because I learned something about my balloon here, uh, going in this target. Yeah, just watch so, and actually, if anyone's coming to Longview, is watching this, never been. There's a target here, and I believe there's a target also in this baseball field. So someone might call either one of those. So <laughs> don't think the target's always going to be there. Um, anywho, but this is all a nice area. Nope, I know that there's no, not really any power lines. I think there's might be some here, but I know this whole area we've landed here plenty of times, and there's nothing. So I'm coming down over the trees like I'm planning, and see, I mean, just watch this left come in. So I'm going right, going right. Still, I was on that line because I'm carrying that momentum from up high. Um, but I see this balloon right here to my right. I mean, I'm I'm gonna intersect with him if I stay right here. But then I get about right here, and the left just way more than I thought. I mean, the, it's spinning the balloon, turning it, and I'm I'm gonna miss it to the left here. So, and I I recognize that almost right away. So. Now, I have a few options, okay? So I can either just try and stay low and clip the field on the left here and try and make a really long throw. I can do what I did on the second target and try and go up about 50 to 100 feet and try and pass it from up high. Or I can try and make a quick correction and try and go up pretty fast and get enough right and then drop back down over the target. Now the problem with that is that there's a balloon, that hopper, he's above me right now, and then there's a balloon right behind me that we're basically uh, touching, and he's coming down. So I, and you can hear me tell him that um, right here. So I recognize I'm going left, and I tell him, I said, I'm going to go up. I, you know, I'm telling him because he's in shouting distance, so I'm going to tell him that I'm going to go up so he knows what I'm doing. You can hear me say it right here. I'm going up, Sam. And you can hear him say, okay. So he's going to be below me. The other balloon's going to be above me. I can't see the other balloon right now, but I know he's kind of somewhere off. But I know he's not right above me, but um, 
just kind of to my side. So I go up here. I go up. So now I'm out of that left that was going to make me miss the field. And I say, here goes nothing because I've never done this. So now I see that balloon. So now I know I'm clear and I have all the balloons in my sight. So I'm venting. And I started pulling about five seconds ago and I'm still holding it open. Now, I kind of learned this right here and I was looking back at the video. I'm going up and I'm venting. So really at this point right now, the only thing that's keeping me going up is my momentum and a little bit of heat. But when I hit the apex of me going up, I vented so much that I'm going to come down pretty fast. And I'm, I'm not going to have a lot of um, air in my balloon. So I kind of learned that about looking up right after I, <laughs> I stopped. So I look up and I, I look up and I say, okay, I need to burn a good amount because my sides are in. My sides are caved in a bit and I don't have much air. So I'm hitting both burners. I'm holding it. But I still have the, I'm still holding the line a little bit. So now I have, you know, a lot of control. And I can vent if I need to. I can burn if I need to. And I'm going down at a decent rate now. Cause I, and you see the, the basket shaking. That's it being uh, kind of jerked to a stop there because I'm going down. The balloon put so much heat in there. And I actually overburn here. So he, he does real good. Oh, darn. So he does real good. He does what I, I mean to do. But I actually overburned and I, I leveled off about right here. So I stopped pretty good. But um, I was able to still go over to this target pretty center at about 30 feet and I was able to drop it and get a good throw so not my ideal way of doing it I wish I could have come down a little bit more but I still did good and I, and I kind of caught myself going down a bit so I just hit both those burners to make sure I wasn't gonna you know hit any trees or anything so now I'm out of competition mode and I'm in landing mode and I guess I'll, I'll talk about the landing in case there's anyone, you know, who's becoming a pilot, who just came pilot. Target, all good. So I'm telling my crew it's all good, but they're there and they're watching. So here's that third target. So coming in from here. What is that? I guess, oh, it's a law firm. Okay. So going in here, and then that's the target right there. 3698B. So we'll talk about the landing. Because um, one thing that I was always taught when I was learning from Dr. Bussey is he said that if you can fly competition, if you can hit a target, he can hit a landing spot if you need to. And that was really true th uh, this one morning right here. So um, I go up because I know that if I keep the low line, which I, you know, one one method of landing is I could um, have just stayed low and just found a spot and just dropped down. So I, I might have been able to hit this parking lot. But I knew that if I went up and got that east-northeast wind, I could have hit a lot more over here. So I go up and, um, okay. So this is about as high as I'm going. So here, um, I was really thinking about this point right here for about 30 seconds. I was thinking about where I should land because I know that all these balloons are hitting this here and I could hit this. And I know that this is a uh, nice grassy area, and we could uh, I could just drop it down, you know, like a target, and just hit it. There's some smaller parking lots here, and if I really needed to hit those, I could. Um, and there's some grassy areas over here. But I see that up ahead there's this mall, and I, I know the mall, and I've been there a lot, and I've landed there, and it's nice big parking lot in the back, right? I don't know if you can see it right over there. So I'm looking if I should do anything over there, and I decide, eh. Nah, I don't. I don't really feel like it because it's it's also been muddy and it's going to be raining, so we're not going to fly. So I'm going to get my balloon wet if possible. Um, those are luxuries, of course. Land wherever you need to, and I and I know that, but I'm just gonna. I I, I knew I could hit them all. So, I'm treating this as a target now. So if if we treat this as a the small parking lot right here as a target, I know that if I go up high, I'll get a right, just like uh, uh, Giant did right here, and then I go low and I can just hit it normal. They're also talking about how it's speeding up on the surface a bit, so i got to watch out for that. But I know that all there is is just light poles there. So, you know, come down. Kind of get the north, northwest, wind, and then... And I, I know it's possible because I see, I see him land right there, and he's, he's thinking the same thing. So now I'm getting too much right, so I'm going to start my approach down. And you can see, I mean... That wasn't far at all. I'm heading right here, and I, I vent a little bit, and you can see the balloon straighten itself out in the direction I'm going, and I, now I'm heading straight towards the uh, parking lot.
in that hopper balloon, he's gonna be on my right here. We're gonna be we're gonna be buddies, and we're actually gonna bump a little a little bit, and I'm gonna knock him to the right though. But that that might be a little bit better because I don't know if he could have fit right where I was. So that, I don't know, but, but he he lands there as well later on. Yeah, right there. But now I have a good line, so my um I'm keeping my eyes where I want to land, and I want to land my trucks here. There's a car in the parking lot there I don't want to hit, so I want to land right about here because Johnny's right there. So I want to land right about there. And, um, you know, one thing I learned when I was learning to fly is I'm um, going to keep my eyes on what I want to hit, whether it's target, landing spot, and then if I'm going, you know, if I'm going too low, I need to know I need to burn. If I'm going, you know, too high, I need to just let it cool off or vent a little bit. Same thing with left and right, I need to go up and down. But regardless, I'm keeping a good line, I'm going right towards it, and I know that if I, um, when I get on the deck about to land, I'm going to start heading off that way. But regardless, keeping a good line right here, so we're just letting it go. So I'm talking to him, telling him I'm about to hit him. So I bumped him right there, and he actually knocked me left a little bit, and I knocked him right. But I could see, uh, but I saw that he had a nice stand-up landing on the surface, so I know that there's nothing I have to worry about. And I, I'm still watching him, and I see that, you know, he's not getting blown around or anything. Um, and he's just having a nice landing, and the balloon's coming down nice, so I know that there's nothing I have to worry about on the surface. He's kind of like a little flag and wind reader for me. So I'm coming down, coming down. There's power lines here. I think they make like a box around here, but once I get past that, I just have to worry about those light poles, and I'm good. So nice, just bringing it in slow. My crew is here, but, um, you know, shouldn't have to rely on crew, but they were just there, so had some help. And right where I wanted to land, I want to land right over here, so land right there. Probably didn't need to burn there, but it's whatever. This looks like I'm 10 feet off the ground, but I'm probably only 4 or 5, and then they catch me. And nice landing. Don't let too much air the blow, and then I'm kind of sad that car was there, because we could have just let it slide a bit more, but we didn't know whose car that was. But, uh, yeah. So, um, that's the flight, and um, I'll probably post this to YouTube and Facebook. But if you have any questions or any comments or anything, just let me know. And yeah, if it does well, I'll do more of these. So, uh, yeah, bye.